right, in this tutorial I want to show you how you can quickly and easily model a pillow like this in Blender. It's very, very simple and very, very quick. And in my opinion, it's not bad results. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, for this tutorial, you will need Blender version 2.82. If you don't have 2.82, I don't think this option is available. I could be wrong, but I think it's only in 2.82. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So first thing I'm going to do is add a floor, add mesh, plane, and then I'm just going to scale it up kind of big. It doesn't have to be perfect or to a specific size. And then I'm going to press Control A to bring up this menu and then apply the scale. All right, now I'm going to click on the Physics Properties tab and then click on Collision because we want soft body and cloth objects to be able to impact the floor. I'm going to leave all the settings at their default settings. All right, now I'm going to add another. Um, I'm going to add a cube, and that's going to be our pillow. So add mesh and then cube. All right, I'm going to scale it on the Z axis. Scale, S for scale, Z for the Z axis, 0.25, enter. And then press G for grab, and then Z for the Z axis, and then just move it up above the floor. Now I'm going to scale it on the Y axis, S for scale, Y for the Y axis, and then two. That way it's kind of shaped more like a pillow. All right, once again, I'm gonna press Control A and then apply the scale. And since we're working with physics objects, it's a good, good idea to apply the scale. All right, now with the pillow selected, I'm gonna come over here to the modifiers tab add modifier and then choose uh, where yet bevel and then change this the number of segments to three and that's about it and then click apply <clears throat> all right now press tab to go into edit mode zoom in just a little bit so you can see what's going on click right here which is loop cut make a cut right in the center by left clicking and then come down here and set this to 40 all right now put a loop cut right here by left clicking and then set this to 20 now put a loop cut going around this around it by left clicking there and then change this to 5 all right now go ahead and click this to turn off the loop cut tool and then press tab to exit edit mode now with the pillow selected click on the physics properties tab click on cloth leave all the settings the same but scroll down here and click on pressure turn that on and then turn the pressure up to uh, probably five would be about right for this and go ahead and turn on click on collisions and turn on self collisions you don't absolutely have to do that but it will help the cloth or the pillow from if there's not enough pressure it will help it from keep it from intersecting into each other into itself rather all right <clears throat> now that's pretty much all we got to do we can press play we can see the pillow looks like it fills up with air and then it just kind of settles and we can just let it play until it gets to an air settles to where we think it should be and that looks about right that kind of look that looks a lot like a pillow in my opinion and once we have it to this point we can go ahead and click on the modifiers tab click apply and now we have our modeled pillow. This is about the easiest way I know of to model a pillow. And of course, if we want it to look a little bit smoother, we could at this point add a modifier, 
go to subdivision surface. We can turn them both up to two and then it looks pretty good. And we could actually apply a cloth material to it if we wanted to or whatever we want. But anyway, I think that's it. Later, people.